work quietly and follow along. At any point, click the pause button to catch up or take a break. Alrighty, hello, hello. Today we're gonna be doing a dragonfly squish print. I consider this a little bit more of advanced form of squish printing because dragonflies have a lot of parts to them. But we're gonna walk it through nice and easy. The first step to any squish print is we fold our paper in half like a book. Try your best to line up your edges and give that paper a nice strong crease. The crease is gonna be used quite often because in squish printing, we are gonna open it up, paint only on one side, close it back, and whatever is painted is gonna transfer and flip the image or the drawing to the other side, creating a beautiful dragonfly. I'll show you how it's done. Let's get started. We're gonna begin using the dragonfly's head and then going down to the body and spreading out for the wings. All right, I'm gonna put my dragon's head pretty close to the top of the paper. And I'm gonna start with a little curve, just a very little curve. And we're gonna go right into making the dragonfly's eyes. So that means we're gonna make a circle with your paintbrush. It's like drawing with paint, okay? And did you notice I went back over my lines a couple of times? That's because I wanna make sure the paint is nice and even. From the side of the eye, we're gonna draw a straight line back in towards the center fold. Notice I'm only drawing on one side. That is the key because we want the other side of the paper to look exactly the same. So fold your paper in half and really gentle, use your knuckles and give it what I call a knuckle rub. A knuckle rub applies just the right amount of pressure and kind of massages your paper, just really gentle. If you're pressing way too hard, your knuckles will start to hurt. And that's a sign that the paper is gonna squish your paint and the paint is just gonna flatten and you'll kind of lose your design. Here we go. All right, voila, a beautiful start to our dragonfly. We're gonna now go towards the neck and the body of our dragonfly down the center of the page. Remember, don't be tempted to color on that side of the paper. Let the squish print do the work for you. All right, for the neck, we're gonna attach the head and make a little round, like a little backward C on the left side. And we're gonna do another shape as well. Let's make it more like a diamond. So we're gonna come straight out a little bit longer and then bring it back in maybe towards the center and remember to stroke those lines multiple times three is fine let's give it a squish we're gonna pause fold and knuckle rub real gentle artists we pause several times whenever we uh, you know paint on a few lines because if we don't pause and squish the paint will dry and there'll be no wet paint to transfer to the other side you also don't wanna keep your book closed because it will dry and act like glue and seal your book shut. So open that bad boy up and oh, look at that magic. All right, we're gonna go on now towards another part of the body and more into the tail. So maybe a little smaller curve, nice and easy. And I'm just gonna do some skinnier, longer curves all the way down to the edge of the paper. I'm gonna finish right about there. Your dragonfly does not have to look exactly like mine. Okay, so do the best you can. When you're ready, give it another squish and a knuckle rub. Be really gentle when you get to the edges of your paper. You don't want your paint to really squirt out and get on your knuckles. It makes a little bit of a mess, but if that happens, it's okay, just keep going. There we go, open it back up. Beautiful body to our dragonfly. Let's go on towards the wings. Grabbing a little paint. Now remember, we're only painting on the left side. And we're gonna start our wings. I'm gonna go directly at this body right here and then the second wing will be down here. So for the wing, we're gonna come out, kind of at a little bit of an angle, brush it three times. Straight left and right to the edge of your paper as best as you can if it has a little curve, it's okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna Give our wing an angle and an angle. And then we're gonna come down and a little bit more over, making this line a little bit longer than that front first point. Have to 
go back over it with paint. And then we're gonna kind of connect up towards the body in that one section. You kind of want like a nice angle. Let's give this a squish because my paint is already starting to dry and I'm sure yours is probably as well. There we go. Yep, a little dry you can see, but that's okay. We're gonna keep going for now. You can always go back and make your lines darker. Let's finish the details of that wing. I'm gonna start in the very center, draw a line, and it's gonna go back up, kind of up towards the corner of the paper at the edge. Go back over it with paint. And then I'm gonna add just some lines, like a leaf, very diagonal, like that. Let's give it a squish. Perfect. All right, let's do the next wing and that's gonna connect to the next part of the body. Same type of thing. We're gonna go up. You can even connect to the bottom wing if you wish. Right on over. And I like to make this wing just a little bit bigger. So come on over this way. Nice angles. Remember, have a good amount of paint. It's gonna swing down and all the way back over. And up and connect. There we go. Let's do the details again. So we had that nice center line going through and it curved up. I'm gonna go back over it with paint. And then I'm just gonna add some other angles in there. Give it some details. There we go. And a squish. There we go. Voila! Our dragonfly is almost done, artists. One more thing. We are gonna include a little bit of the dragonfly's feet in the front. So from the wing, a little bit away from the body, right in this pocket here, we're gonna, whoops, I'm drawing on the wrong side. Oof, 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 gotta be careful. We're going on this side. We're gonna come out. We're gonna go past a little bit of the dragonfly's eye, kind of in the wing, in this space here. Then we can come up. I like to just make a little circle, make it look like the dragonfly has little hands. Now let's give it a squish, see how it turns out. And here we go, beautiful. This is exactly what we're looking for. And I could go back and I can reapply paint and squish it. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add some beautiful color to this piece. And then if you want to cut it out, you certainly can. I like to cut it out because that way I can kind of control as the artist how I want my edges to look. So if there's a big piece, like if I don't like this bump right here, I can simply just kind of cut it, make it nice and straight. All right. See you in the next round for coloring. Let's let our dragonfly dry. All right, artists. In this video, I'm gonna show you a technique for kind of making a simpler way to approach a squish print. And this one, we're doing a dragonfly. If you fast forward in my video, I don't have the drawing already done. I'm literally painting and drawing at the same time. And if this is your first squish print, and you're doing something like as awesome as the dragonfly, it might be a little tricky, but this drawing part will really help you have a successful print. So let's begin. Here's my piece of paper. I'm gonna fold it in half. Give it a good crease. That's a good part of the print. And open it back up. We're gonna be drawing on only the left side of our page. And you'll see why when we do the next step, when we actually print. And I also explain what a squish print is and all that good stuff when we're actually squish printing and at that step. So just to draw though, I'm gonna be using a black Sharpie marker so you can see my lines really clearly in the video. You might wanna use a pencil so that way you can erase if there's something you're not quite satisfied with. I'm doing this next step only so you can see it in the video. You do not need to do this step. I'm taking my pencil and I'm just tracing over that crease line so you have a better gauge of where that is in the video. Let's begin drawing our dragonfly. 
at the top of my page, we're gonna actually be going all the way to the top, pretty close. And I like to do just a nice curve. Don't be afraid to go big with your drawing. It's not usual we get to draw big all the time, so really embrace it. From where we left off, I'm gonna draw a nice circle. At this point, it kinda looks like a cherry. And then I'm gonna come, um, let's see, we're gonna come straight down and back in to make our dragonfly's head. From here, we're gonna do a nice curve for the body. And you can curve again, make it a little longer. And let's finish out with some little more flatter curves till we get towards the end of our page or pretty close. That is the basic dragonfly's body. Let's go into making the wing, which is gonna connect to the body right about here. And we're gonna start by going a slight curve up, straight across, a little bit down. So I did slight angle, across, slight angle, short line down. Another angle down. We're gonna go all the way across and a slight angle up connecting to the body. Let's add some of those detailed lines that make it look more like a wing. From the inside of those lines, right in the center of the wing, you're gonna add a line straight across. It can even have a little curve, and it's gonna go curve up to the corner towards your paper. Pretty cool. Now you can add, think of it like a leaf. You know how a leaf has those details? Those lines that kind of branch off and look like veins? Same thing with the dragonfly. I added three. You can make yours however you'd like. Next, same thing, boys and girls. We're gonna do another wing just below. So you can either attach this wing up a little higher on the body, in the middle, however you'd like. I like to just kind of keep it close to the first wing. So to do this, we start up at an angle, draw our line across, short line down, Longer line down, all the way across. We're gonna pause and go up. Now we do the details. In the center, we go up and to the center, all the way across and curve it back up. Now for the details, which you get to decide is just, I'd like to do curvature lines and it can be different than the first wing. That's totally fine. In fact, I'm gonna make mine Trying to make it a little different. I'm gonna add a little detail here and I'll add another line coming here. All right. Now, one last thing and that's the leg of our dragonfly. When we use paint and we trace over our lines with the paint and the paintbrush, our lines are gonna be thick because that's just what happens when we squish print. So don't worry about making your drawing extremely detailed. This is just a basic layout of the components of the dragonfly so you know where to go. You're gonna trace over them a little bit. So in between the wing and kind of the neck of the dragonfly, I'm gonna draw a line out and up, okay? That's gonna be for the leg of the dragonfly. I'm only gonna do one leg for this squish print. Awesome. When you continue on and hit play for the next video or next part of this video, we're gonna be taking paint and all you have to do is trace over and follow along with me. Just a reminder, I don't have lines on mine, but you can still follow along where exactly I'm applying paint on the sections of my dragonfly. Happy arting and let's do this. Here's our squish print dragonfly and I'm gonna show you how to add some really cool colors to it to make it look more 3D. And we're gonna even talk about how that influences texture on our artwork as well. Now you can color your dragonfly with any colors and I'm using crayon, you may also use markers. And I'm gonna tell you, I have like a darker blue. This is indigo. I have a yellow, a green, and a light blue, and a white. You're definitely gonna want a white, and I'll show you that cool trick later on with that crayon. I'm gonna start with my awesome indigo dark blue crayon. And I'm gonna start with the body. And I'm just gonna color in the spaces. And notice that I'm keeping my crayon a little more towards the edge. And then I'm gonna get a little and color really nice and light on the inside, okay? Dark on the edge, lighter in the inside. This is gonna make our dragonfly look more 3D. 
our bodies and everything in the world is filled with shadows. Okay, so shadows are like darker areas. So my wrist underneath here is a little darker in my thumb. Any edge of something usually is a little bit more of a shadow to it. And honestly, overall, it just makes it look way more cooler. Put all the way down my dragonfly. I can always go back and make things a little darker if you decide as well. There, doesn't that look awesome? So I'm done with that crayon. And next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color the top wings. That's these two. And I'm gonna color in the spaces. You can do the technique I just showed you or you can do them all the same, like shade. Whatever you feel like doing and they can be whatever colors you decide. I usually pick a little lighter color because the wings are more transparent on a dragonfly, meaning they're more see-through. But since this is art, we can be a little more creative. So I chose this light blue color because I always see dragonflies on the water when I was very young on the lake up north. And there is a lot of dragonflies with this shade of blue. They're all over the place. So that's why I chose this color. And also I think it's a good alternative to white or to show transparency. I'll be doing white on the next wing just because I would like them a little different. Now make sure you're doing a very good job coloring in all the lines because this is what's gonna make your squish print look awesome and go to the next level. If you don't do a good job at this, it's gonna, it might make it look worse. So make sure you're doing a good job and taking your time coloring in those spaces. All right, the next color I like to do is white and I'm gonna use the paper as well. I'm just gonna do a little shading. I'm just lightening up the paper color. It's very slight, but also what we're doing in this process and why I chose crayons is because we're giving the paper more texture. Texture is the way something feels, remember, and dragonflies are actually kind of fuzzy. They have really, really fine hairs that almost act as like feelers. So that's how they can feel things around them. But overall, the crayons give a good variation in color. Okay. But here's the real reason I love working with white crayon is we can highlight certain areas or add more details. So with the white crayon, I can go across, you know, different areas, kind of blend the colors a little bit more. Um, I can go on the paint and I'll do it on this half of the dragonfly so you can see the difference. And enhance certain characteristics that I'm pulling from the paint that the paint kind of created or the dragonfly itself. So I'm just kind of adding little lines, kind of outlining the black. You can do it wherever or if you want to do it all over. Like I really like the shape of his little front leg there, so I'm gonna go around it. I liked how this leg kind of came out like a muscle. This is separating different parts of the body and characteristics, okay? So now you can see how that totally changed our dragonfly, just that little bit of color. I even can go in here and add a little shine to his eye, more white. Okay, so a highlight is when the sun or light hits a surface and it's very intense in certain areas. So even our hands are full of highlights and shadows. Like my ring, this is a very intense reflection of light. So it's obviously gonna be super light there compared to other areas. So let's do that to the other side. I'm just gonna kind of repeat what I did. So I picked out different characteristics that I liked and just went around them, kind of outlined them. And they don't have to be the same on both sides for this because not everything highlights the same in real life. I use it to separate certain areas. And then I'm gonna go down the side of his body. There 
we go. And then with the other colors, of course you can add in touches of, you know, whatever you like. I'm going to do actually do a little yellow towards the body. Again, doing that fade effect, the shadowing. Okay. And I'm going to go in by his eye. And that's also where I'm going to add the green, make them a little cool. You can go over my dark blue body with green, give it more variation. Animals are not made of just one color. So if you look at the fur on your dog or cat, and let's say you have a brown cat, it's not all the same shade of brown. There's light browns, there's dark browns, there's even black or orange. And from a distance, it looks like brown, but up close, there's a lot of beautiful things we can see when we take a moment to notice, okay? I'm gonna add some green and these wings. All right, once you add your details and you can totally see the difference between our dragonfly from before we added the crayon, now we can take a scissors and cut out our dragonfly very, very carefully. We're gonna go around the edge of the black and just all around the dragonfly. Little pro tip, if there's a shape you don't quite like, for example, I don't know if I like that little nudge there. See how the paint kind of bulges up to the right? You can just cut that off and reshape it to how you like, okay? Now remember, we generally want both sides the same for this part, so what you do to one side, you're gonna wanna make the other side look kind of similar. So here you can kind of see I cut off that little extra bulge right there, okay? Be careful when you go around the little feet and his head, come all the way back. Don't worry about the inside of the wings for this project because that's gonna be hard to get to, okay? Unless you'd like to cut the wing down this way, that would be totally fine. Thanks for joining me today and happy arting. I'm going to be cutting out my dragonfly and I can't wait to see yours.